We will unbox and install SureD Durometer with stand. In the smaller box we have a case containing the durometer and a calibration block. In the bigger box we have an instruction manual and the durometer stand. Here we have a solid metal block to test the durometer. Now we will adjust the height of the durometer mounting assembly by loosening the knob on the right of the durometer stand and lifting the assembly. When we get the assembly to our desired height, we will tighten the knob and also move the stopper under the assembly to lock the assembly in place. Now we will take our durometer and take the screw cap off the top of it. Then we will screw the durometer into the stand and rotate it anti-clockwise such that the durometer is facing towards the front side. To tighten the durometer in place we will rotate the screw on top of the stand in anti-clockwise direction. Now we will loosen the screw on the right of the durometer and rotate the ring around the glass to adjust the black needle to zero. We will tighten the screw to lock the black needle at its mean position which is zero. Then we will rotate the red needle with the knob in the center of the durometer, so that it is also at zero. We will then take the solid metal block and place it right under the needle of the durometer. Now we will use the lever to lower the durometer onto the metal block, applying small amount of force such that the needle gets retracted completely into the durometer. When the needle is retracted into the durometer fully, we will see that the black and red needles in the dials have traveled 360 degrees. Now we will use the knob on the durometer to take the red needle back to zero. Then we will take the calibration block and place it under the needle of the durometer such that the needle goes into the small hole on top of the calibration block. First we will use the hole marked as 50. As we can see the durometer shows 50 as its reading, indicating it is working as intended. After taking the reading make sure to use the knob on the center of the durometer to reset the red needle back to zero. Then we will take the reading for 75. As we can see the durometer is showing 75 as its reading. Your surety durometer is ready to be used. Thank you.